Well, you prepared to make as many punches as possible. All the way from Garissa town, I find myself here. Look at this. This is Madogo town. Away from the town. It's like outside the town. You see, these are the last houses on this end. But Madogo town is on the other end, down there. You can see houses. If you are very keen, you realize you see houses. There is this bungalow here. There's another one here and here. And down there, see a story house over there. Madogo is down there. Uh, <coughs> I left the tarmac. The tarmac is around somewhere there. But I decided to just go through the town to see how it looks like. Uh, unfortunately, I've not recorded on the other side. But when I arrived here, I realized like this is the end of the road. There's no road here. And I have this <laughs> with my beasts. Our bikes come in. We are kind of like going this direction. We want to see if we'll find our way out. Look at this beautiful landscape around here, Madogo area. Oh, uh, I just wanted to see the prime lands of Madogo. Madogo and Garissa. Madogo by this in Tana River County uh, and it is just adjacent town to Garissa town. Uh, the climatic condition are the same, not almost the same, but rather the same. You see uh, here vegetation are characterized by this kind of vegetation. They are thickets, you see short short vegetation most of the land is bare there's no soil cover you can see bare bare land uh, those are some small hills mountains uh, over there they don't have any soil cover let us see if we move this side um, I'm, I'm training I'm training with my bicycle let us see how far this road will take us. Look right here, we see a sort of land demarcation. It's like someone wants to build a wall here. You can see it is from that corner all the way down to that corner. I see a post somewhere there and there's another one. So it's kind of land being demarcated. But sorry for the honor we are using here as our road today. Man! <laughs> yeah, our bike is intact. So let us ride our bike. What? No way. No way. What is this? Man, look at this. This is a, like a water lager, man. From a distance, you will think it is a, a, a river. This is not a river. Water lager. This place, when it rains, let me just walk with the bicycle through this I want to show you what are these features being formed here look at this this is not a river look at this it goes all the, all the way down there when it rains heavily you see like this river it is a river like formation when it rains on the other side, water follows this. Water comes from different uh, direction and enters this uh, river-like structure formation. And 
it flows towards that direction man when it rains this is more like a river it takes away a vehicle if people drive across a drift when it has heavily rained most of the time the, the water has enough force to even go sweep away the the car <coughs> look at that one it just fell let us put there our bike i see this these are when it is filled with water it is exactly like a river look at this movement of water from that direction downwards as water moves it keeps hitting on the wall here every time water uh, hits on the wall uh, it breaks in small particles so to an extent <laughs> the whole of this piece just fell off from here it was attached here now it is detached and it is in the lager man this is the impact of the water on these features are uh, formed around here you see like this one it was taken down there's another one looking strange here look at this man this is water water has a lot of power look at this these are water paths but at the same time you realize there is this feature that has formed here this is exactly the same as that one uh, used to be now with another heavy rainfall this one will fall down and by the way yeah this one will fall down uh look here what we've got here this is water man this is uh the whole of this part this uh river like feature you see where we are standing it is look at this where we are standing right now you see it looks like a river is this like a river bank on this side and on the other side we are now inside the river looking a uh, river river like formation in between the, the two banks so inside here there is sand you look at this this is sand man there is sand covering the whole of this downwards uh because this is a because this is a a desert a semi-arid region there is most of the time there is a problem of water so when the rain stops when the rain stops water problems began, uh, begin immediately because when you dig down uh, like a borehole you dig down water is salty water is salty when you dig down here uh, boreholes but uh, the only way where uh, people from this semi-arid uh, region get their water pure drinking water they come to places like this you see this sand covered area this is very important for people living around here like you see over there there are houses huge houses but people from that village they come you see we, we've, be, we've just come from that direction with our bike i've never been to this place but when i was following this uh, path just doing some adventure i want to go through this bush if 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 possible i just stumbled on this and by there i was saying this sand is very important for the people living in the desert either in the desert or semi-desert areas because when it rains water hides in this soil water hides in this sand here 
down here when you dig down here you will find water fresh water so most of the people come here to take water man look at this like right now they are digging here and this is where they get their water let me show you you see the whole of this part they have been dug uh, in search of water look at this there's water here you see this is water clean water by the way this water is very clean look at it i'd like to drink but i'm not used to this by the way so unless i'm the one who dug that hole i cannot dare drink and unless i see people drinking and fetching I can easily drink because this kind of water also is prone to uh, dirt contamination because most of the people coming to fetch this water are young kids and ladies kids have so 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 much uh, in their mind running uh, there's an easy incident I saw somewhere these kids they fetch water from this place after fetching water uh, there are those that come and help themselves here there are those that do even the they do they eh? they poo here they poo and cover the so with the soil so that when people come and discover it is like that they move to to an, uh, the next place they dig and they continue drinking the water using the water for domestic uh domestic purpose but for me i'm, I'm really afraid this water is good it's good but it is very prone to contamination so guys i was just moving randomly and i found this i thought i should share this with you let's go ahead and see what lies I ahead of us i see these small hills from a very far distance there um especially when i'm on the tarmac road i see these places here and i've always admired to come to this part today i said i have to go uh we just passed the lager uh where I've, I've been showing you where people get their water from are uh, people from within and a motorbike cannot cross to this side even a vehicle cannot cross to this side so the best way to cross over to this side is by using a bicycle like this but the challenge with the bicycle is that it can easily get a puncture because there are vegetation here uh, very tough they have uh, thorns small thorns but very tough they can easily puncture my bicycle and if, if that happens then it's going to be difficult for me to go back to Garissa town, not Madogo. I have to go past Madogo town. Madogo town is here, but I will have to, to go to the other side of the river. And look at what I... This is, this is a thorn, man. Just come from my, my shoes. Uh, I did flip-flops today, not like the other day we... Um, the past days I've been using uh, shoes, but today I decided it is flip flops for my feet to breathe. Uh, and I've just made a, a big mistake using flip flops in this uh, jungle is very daring and at the same time foolish. But anyway, I've just done it so. Let us go around and see what uh, these small hills look like. I'll be climbing all these hills with this bicycle because if I leave a bicycle behind and it is a huge jungle, man, I can easily forget the bicycle because there are many people walking around here. There are people looking after sheep 
uh, sheep and goats you can easily go with it so let us go on top of the first mountain look at the other side it's very far man houses are there wow this is how Madogo looks from this point let us go oh my bicycle is seeing it all man look at this man they are small small mountains there are very many i don't know what led to the formation of this let me use the bicycle to navigate through let me use the bicycle to navigate and see what is here look at this man i love to go to the other side let us go through here first let's go through here what this is it no? we are going around this thing and the place is very simple look at this i don't have the brakes man i do not have the brakes so this is it my cloth has just stuck here oh man look at this type of vegetation they are very small but very tough already holding on to my cloth and i can see blood here in my on top of my palm man let me remove this one my bicycle is already down these small hills are very tough they have stones that are very very look at this then i have to take my bicycle and the journey continues we are not stopping we are not stopping so let us move Look at this. There's no road here. We are just making our own road. Man, man, man. No brakes again to go through this. Look at how this place looks like. What? Man, this place is beautiful. No lie. Let me not lie to you. This place is very beautiful. We have to go through these thickets. These trees, these small thickets are the major problem. You cannot navigate with a bicycle through this. They will hold on to your cloth, they will hold on to your skin. Look at my skin now. I have to remove this thorn here and there's another here look at this one man and this one hey today if i have to sleep there is a, a lot of pain i have to go through i don't know if my bicycle has a puncture but i still have to ride it through look at this Look at how magnificent this place looks like. Man, this is the beauty of God. There's no way of describing it other than just marveling at it. My phone is, uh, my camera is not that good. You can see Garissa town on the other side. 
man if madogo town and garissa town had to be merged into one town one big town this would be the biggest town in northeastern uh province but they are different they are different you can see madogo the most of the development is from here all the way down to the river and along the river up to some point here so it's kind of yeah a weird kind of way uh, some sort of development either unplanned i see is unplanned but i know the reason is because of the nature of the soil here and the topography of the land the land is very flat and because it is a semi-arid uh, area there's no water so most of the construction or the buildings are along the river close to where the water can easily be fetched and other parts that you see coming this way are those following the tarmac road so mostly tam uh, lands closer or adjacent to the tarmac road are considered good for business so that's why let us go beyond this point and see what we have ahead there man we still have our bicycle here and we still have to challenge ourselves what 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 man yeah 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 i don't have the brakes man i don't have the brakes look at this if your bicycle leads you there you will definitely have to die <laughs> man but i'm sure going down there I'm going down there i have to go there uh, whoa. these exercises are <laughs> so tough on me uh let me try here again man gay 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 this is the most challenging one but i have to go down there i have to go down there so that i can go around and see the other that side i've seen something black there looks like a snake i don't know if it is but i it has intrigued my my curiosity i have to go there man i must go there this bike you have to walk with me oh we are, we are riding again how do we have here yes i saw something black somewhere here let me see what it is let me see what it is first Oh, no way, this is just a bag, man. I don't know how it came here. It's a black bag. Maybe it was swept away with by water during the rainy season. You see, all this was formed because of water, I guess. You can see these small mountains. They don't have vegetation apart from this... Uh, three four five uh thickets most of this i think is because of some sort of erosion the place doesn't have the soil cover and uh, it is full of these small, small mountains should we go this direction or this direction let us uh let us let us let us let us take this direction just take this direction. See how far. Isn't this not exactly what I wanted? But it turns out to be something I'm enjoying, man. I'm enjoying this uh, walk alone in the jungle. Uh, alone in the jungle. By the way, uh, you have to be scared when walking around here this place 
Man. Oh, my bicycle, man. How to cameras, man. I'm using a GoPro. I'm trying to figure out how I can use my phone to record as well. Oh, okay. Look at this. Oh. Let me try and move uh, in this direction. Can I take a selfie with my phone? Let me see. No way. This one has gone off. So. I'm trying to take a selfie. Yes. Taking a selfie. Man. It is go again. I risk my phone falling down. So let me just do this. Let me do this first. Unhook. Then keep my selfie stick here. And we try moving around with a bicycle again. Look where we've come from. <laughs> Down there, man and we are trying this one if you go down there you are no not turning back please let us go this direction man what it's the end of the road look at there down there and down here man this is re really risky so I have to try this last one. I want to cycle. I carry my bike first and we try this one. Look at how dangerous this is. And dangerous this is. But we want to follow the top, the tip of the of the mountain. Yeah. Man, let us end our journey here if we go past past this point can easily fall over fall down like you can slide look at this you can slide here or slide there so there is this small tip here that we are using to cycle so right now i'm afraid my brake might fail and because sort of accident that mountain still goes the other way round. There are so many. Look at this. There are so many. If I had to cover this, I couldn't cover everything, man. So I think let, the, let us call this the end. Uh, I try cycling back to this point and then, yeah. We see if we can get somewhere to cross over to the other end of the lager and we find our way out uh yeah let us go there and see let us go man man let me look for a way out it is in the bush but we have to open we look for ways to go ways to, to cycle around, navigate around here. We want to go to the other end. And most of these routes are made by animals, uh, camels, 
sheep when they are feeding in this uh -huh. in the jungle man these small small roots you see they are just made by sheep and camels and and cattle but now we have to follow some point there are a lot of thorns and sometimes most of the time i'm carrying this bicycle because i'm avoiding to to get a puncture and i'm very far from where i'm supposed to, to be going so just trying to avoid to walk longer distances uh, so i i kind of cycle through Oh yeah, my brake is not good, man. My brake is the problem around here. Yeah, and this is very, very risky. Very risky. It's a lager again. We're just through one of the first, the first lager. This is somehow small. This is not a road, man. This is the lager I showed you the, the first time when we just entered this place. This is sand, so it is very difficult to navigate with a bicycle. Cycling through sand, very challenging. We have to, ooh, to get out via this point let us get out oh. now it is even time to carry to carry this bicycle it is my time to carry the bicycle This bicycle has carried me long distance. So now I have to carry the bicycle. I have to carry the bicycle if I don't want to to get stuck in this bush. So let us just carry it. Go to the other side. I've seen a guy there is some some guys there carrying water from I guess it's somewhere here. So, I see there is someone there. Can you see that person? He's carrying water. He might have found water around here, though I'm not interested in, in looking for water. I just want to see where they get this water. And if I, I don't get it, I still have to go because my aim was to show you this place and uh, I can see my target is achieved and everything is successful you see this hole oh you just found water here water is in there but this one is like when water is going down they stop using it. You see there is another one here. We tried another one and another one. Let us uh, get out of this place. Oh, there are young ladies there with kids and men. There is where they are getting water. But I'm not interested in getting water. I see another lady there going to fetch water. So basically man life is hard here but people because they are adapted themselves to this kind of situations they just feel it comfortable and they feel they are just okay man and for me i don't feel like it is okay uh, anyway let us find our way out done 
enough exercise for today.